the final burial rites for Mr. Okundola Agbola Bamigboye, a top executive of MTN Telecommunications Limited, who passed on on the 10th of October 2020 at the age of 58, began with a service of songs at the Bamara Hall of the Federal Palace Hotel, Victoria Island, Lagos. The service was attended by friends and family members of the deceased from different parts of the country and beyond. Leading the dignitaries list was the Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, Ogo State First Lady Mrs. Bamidela Abiodun, Pastor Itwa Igodalo, Senior Pastor of Trinity House Church, as well as executives and members of MTN Telecommunications Limited, colleagues of the deceased. The wife, children and siblings of the late Mr. Okundola Agbola Bamibuyi were also there to pay their last respects. The service of songs featured Bible readings and rendition of songs by different choir groups and soloists. In their different testimonies, all those who spoke, spoke very glowingly about Okundola Bamigui as a very warm and respectful person who was full of life. Uh, as we all fondly call him, he meant different things to different people. He however meant one thing to everyone, a friend. I'm not sure how many people have the capacity to meet one for the first time and make an impression immediately. He had that going for him. Dollar loved life. His zest and zeal were legendary. His love for music and dancing cannot be challenged or surpassed by anyone of his peers. My last communication with my friend was the Sunday before his death. All he wanted was a favor for his wife and not for himself. What a great guy. My wife, who has known Mrs. Dollar, as I call her, Oche, for years, told me how Oche said to her that Dollar and her had never gone 48 hours. Whatever part of the world, wherever it may be, they have not gone 48 hours without speaking. 
He was indeed an amazing husband and father. It was fun of my daughter, who was friends with his son, and always asked after her, and even in his last message to me, he said, how is Zena? Needless to say, Zena is beside herself and has cried and cried. Dollar, sit well. You lived a very good life, and may your soul forever rest in peace. I became really dear to him when um, tragically um, we lost our son three years ago. Um, his children, uh, apparently, were good friends with uh, Benega. And um, I think they must have told their dad to. Uh, to um, represent them because they were not in the country when it happened. And um, I mean, he wasn't a personal friend, even though I knew Oche very well from university. But Donald would come to our house every day and he would, he was, and he would sit with us and he would hold my hand. for the service to hold. He sat down with me on, on the carpet from the beginning to the end. He was absolutely wonderful. Things happen now, we don't know why. I don't know when I met Dola, but it was one of those people that you meet along the streets of life. And one thing about Dola was that he was extremely polite, extremely humble. With me, he was so humble that I thought I was much older than he was, only to discover that it's just a year or a year and a half that separates us, even though I'm a little bit older. So I want to thank Donna for his love, for his friendship, for his large-heartedness, and for being a truly great person. My word for you is that it shall be well with you. The Lord that strengthened me will strengthen you. And you know, Oche, that I know how you feel. I know how you feel because I have walked this path. But well, one thing I can assure you, that Dollar has not left. His soul, his spirit, his being, his essence is still here. In the citation of the life and times of Mr. Okundola Bamigui, read by his younger sister, it was revealed that Dola Bamigui was born in Leicester City in the UK where he studied and bagged two degrees before relocating to Nigeria and got an employment with MTN. Dola Bamigbuyi and his wife, Oche, got married in 1992, and they were blessed with three children. A church service for the late Dola Bamigbuyi was held on Wednesday, the 28th of October, 2020, at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, City of David, the Galia Yomide Street, Victoria Island, Lagos. Dola Bamigbuyi began the journey to take a final rest after a short but very impactful life on earth. Dola Bamigbuyi finally goes home in a spiritual blaze of glory amidst singing and prayers.
Family members, friends and loved ones rallied a huge support for Che, the wife of the deceased, children and siblings. They all defiled the fragile security situation of Lagos and the COVID-19 health issues to pay him last respects. Old students of CMS Grammar School Lagos, the late Dolaba Migboye's alma mater, joined in paying him a musical tribute. In the flurry of tributes that poured in for Dolaba Miguye, he was described as a great soul who loved unconditionally. I joined CMS in 1975 as a boarder in Kale House, immediately made his impact felt by his wit and friendliness. He drew the wrath and love of both seniors and juniors, and so many of his classmates, many of whom are here with us today. He thoroughly went through CMS in typical dollar fashion, particularly impacting the social scene of, the, of Lagos late 70s and early 80s. Having spent six years in CMS, dollars mark on junior and senior lids of those days rivaled. We like to say that despite dollar being a selfless and proud Gamerian, we lent him to less known schools of the time, like the khaki wearing boys of Igbobi. Casey, Greggs, and many. They were quick to claim him as their own. His friends cut across all strata of society, but one thing they all had in common was that they were proud to call Dollar their friend. He was an arise man. He was compassionate. He was a good man. He was loyal. It is interesting that the Lord chose to take him at that time. He was eager, he obeyed, and he listened to all that God had told him to do. And the doctors, Dollar stayed alive. I refuse to mourn Dollar. I choose to see him as a living being, having just been translated to life perpetual. There was a string of soulful renditions by the choir of the City of David Church and some prominent soloists.
The service featured Bible readings by one of the twin girls and son of the deceased, Ayodola Bamigboye and Bidimi Bamigboye. The sermon was preached by Pastor Idowi Luyomade of the RCCG City of David Parish, Victoria Island, Lagos. For man, once to die, and then judge. We hear at services like this, and like the one we had yesterday, to enable us to number our days so that we can apply our hearts to wisdom. And it tells us that we are pilgrims in this world. Is not our own. One day of life is not based on alphabetical order, or else people would have changed to Zebra, Zebulon, Zimbabwe, or Zebudaya. Cessation of life has nothing to do with alphabets. When it comes, it comes. Today we have come to celebrate dollar, as someone said in the tribute, a currency that cannot be spent. The other twin girl, Ayuadi Bamiboye, eulogized her father in the detailed biography of the life and times of the late Okundola Bamiboye. Dollar was many things to many people. He was a man of faith. He routinely gave his life to Christ much to the confusion of those who are said that once will do. He ministered, not as a minister, but as a man of humility and the purest love to those who needed it the most. His empty and family are forever, and will remember him as the life and soul of the evil. His church is at City of David and beyond, in the comfort that he's dancing in spirit. It's magical, a force of nature, a magnet. You care who you are or where you come from what you wanted from him or what you could do for him. After the church service, the deceased was taken to the gravesite where he was finally laid to rest. May God grant the soul of the very energetic, kind and compassionate late Okundolaba Miboye eternal rest. Amen.